with so many options. It's so many different types of lenses that you can choose and that is a great fit for your Sony FX30. But some lenses may not be the best or bring out the best out of your camera when using them. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top five APS lenses for the FX30. Starting our list at number five is the Tokia 11 to 18 millimeter with an f-stop of 2.8. This lens is a game changer for wide angle shots. With this incredible aperture of f2.8, and also to note, it has a robust build and a very sharp image that makes it a top choice for the FX30. At number four, the Sony 18 to 105 millimeter. This lens offers versatility with its broad zoom range. This all-in-one lens is fantastic for those who prefer not to switch lenses often. And its optical steady shot image stabilization is a lifesaver for handheld shooting, ensuring smooth, crisp footage every time you shoot. The Tamron 17 to 70 comes in at number three. This lens is a favorite amongst videographers for its balance and between wide and mid-range zoom. It consists of a 2.8 across the zoom range offers a consistent exposure and depth of field control. Plus it's moisture resistant construction makes it durable for all shooting conditions. And lenses like that is just, uh, it's a beauty to have. Being able to have that kind of wide angle and able to go in as well. Cause we all know when you're shooting either weddings or sometimes commercial, just being able to have that, that range helps a lot. And also since it is a 2.8, that's very great for low light. So if you're looking for a low light lens, it should be helpful. But I would definitely say it would be better to get one lower than that. So be wary of this, because I shoot with the FX30 and I use a full frame lens with it. And I have a Tamron with a 2.8 on it. The low light is not as good as I want it to be compared to my full frame, but I am using a full frame lens on the Sony FX30. So using a lower stop and an APS lens with this camera will be a big difference. So make sure you get something low with a low aperture. Taking our number two spot is the Sony 16 to 55 millimeter. A powerhouse and a compact size, this lens provides a exceptional sharpness and color redemption. Its fast autofocus performance makes it ideal for capturing fast moving subjects. Whether you're in the wildlife, sports, it's pretty good in those aspects and well as just anything else. It's just, it's a Sony lens. Most Sony lenses are great, so you can't go wrong with a good Sony lens. Number one, the Syria three lens kit. If I'm getting that wrong, just, you, I'm gonna put it on the screen. Yeah, I said three lens kit, but I just had to add these lens in here because each and every one of these lenses are great because I wanted to make sure that you get the best value out of this video when watching this, so I had to include the three lens kit. Either one of these lenses is a great choice, so let's get right into it. The Sirens three lens kit is comprised of the 23, the 33, and the 56 millimeter lens, all with an impressive F1.2 aperture. It's a gateway to incredible lightweight performance and that sought out after cinematic bokeh effect. This kit offers an unparalleled versatility and an artistic control. These lenses provide exceptional clarity and beautiful bokeh. Me personally, this is the kit I will go with. The footage that I've seen that other creators have captured with this lens is unbelievable. And since it's got that 1.2, I'm more than likely to get that look that I want in low light situations. If you haven't seen my review on the FX30, I was stating that it kind of struggled in the low light, but I had a full frame lens on it that was a 2.8. I believe if I had one of these lenses on my FX30 during that shoot, I would be inclined to having better footage in my opinion, because I can tell that it needed a little bit more, just a little bit to get where I want it to be. But the footage was great. The footage still was usable. It wasn't just horrible. I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. And these lenses would do just that. If you're looking to pick up an FX30, I would definitely say pick up this kit. This kit is actually not that expensive. They come right at $1,000. And there you have it. Our top five APS lenses for the Sony FX30. Each lens brings its unique strengths to the table, ensuring that no matter what your style is, or your needs, there's a lens out there 
for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below on like which lens you may end up choosing. I would love to know which lens you might go with or what lens you already have. Let us know down there in the comments. Until next time, I see you when I see you.